Hi, Bob the Canadian here. Let's learn English at the library. Well, hey, welcome to this video. If this is your first time here and you're learning English, don't forget to click the subscribe button below and the small bell notification so that you know when new videos come out. And if at some point during this video, you could give me a thumbs up, that would be awesome. And one more thing, in the description below, if you scroll down in the description, there's actually some bonus material to help you practice the English that you're learning in this video. But hey, let's head into the library and learn some English. So welcome to the library. If you're learning English, books are one of the best things that you can use to help improve your English. And libraries are really cool because they're free to you. If you have a library card, here's mine right here. If you have a library card, which is free, you can go to your local library and you can borrow a book. When you first walk into a library, you will see the front desk and there will be a librarian sitting at the front desk. I'm not actually a librarian, but fun fact, an interesting thing about Bob the Canadian, my mom is actually a librarian. Anyways, the front desk is where you will bring your books in order to check them out or to sign them out. So once you've gone through the library and you've found one or two books to read, this is the place where you would come to sign them out. The librarian will have a little scanner and they'll beep the book for you. So in English we say uh, scan or beep because it makes a beeping sound. They'll go beep and then that book will be registered under your name as being borrowed. I'm not sure if you can read this right here, but it says book return. So this is a place where you could put a book in if you were returning it to the library. Maybe the librarian is not at their desk. Uh, you could return your book by putting it in this slot. Sometimes when you're going to return your book to the library, the library's closed. But most libraries have a book drop off slot on the outside of the library. And you can put your books in here to return them when the library is closed and you're not able to go inside. So libraries have a number of different book sections. The section that I'm standing in front of here is called the fiction section. Um, a fiction section has books that have been written by authors where they have made up the story. So they're not true stories, they're fictional stories. So if you think of books like The Martian, or books like The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. They are fiction books, and you would find those books uh, in the fiction section. Another section that the library will have is the nonfiction section. So the nonfiction section is a great place to get books where you're just looking for information. For instance, maybe you wanted a book about the Prime Ministers of Canada. So you would come to the nonfiction section to find books about information like that. In this area, you'll also find books that are true stories. So biographies or autobiographies, which are the stories of a person's life, stories that are true, as opposed to fiction, where the stories are not true. So this is the nonfiction section of the library. So over here in this corner, uh, is what's called the reference section, and these are encyclopedias. Uh, what's interesting uh, with encyclopedias is n not a lot of people use them anymore. Most people use websites like Wikipedia, or they use the internet to do their research. But here we have um, a couple of encyclopedias um, where you could look up um, information if you needed to, but I think they're actually kind of old. So another part of the reference section uh, is a place where you can find dictionaries. And I, I wanted to show you this bookshelf because what's really cool is uh, right here there's a Japanese English dictionary, a Chinese English dictionary, uh, and a Spanish uh, English dictionary, and a French English dictionary. So sometimes at your local library you'll be able to find dictionaries that will help you learn words uh, in different languages or to help you learn the English word for the language that you speak. Another section of the library is the periodicals or magazine section. So this is an area where you would find monthly publications, magazines on different topics. If you wanted to learn about cows, if you wanted to learn how to build things or renovate your house, this is the place where you would come to find a magazine that would tell you how to do that. 
Facts, which is a monthly magazine that shows you how to build things. Uh, you would come to the magazine. Bob the Canadian is not very good at putting things on the shelf. <laughs> Most libraries also have a kids section where there are only children's books. So kids as well as adults are always welcome to go to the library to find a book to read. So another nice thing about the library is that they have computers and there's a couple of things that you can use these computers for. You can use the computer uh, to browse the internet, uh, to look things up or to check your email, but usually you can also use the computer at a library to look up where in the library you can find the book that you're looking for. So let's say you knew a specific book that you wanted to read, you could use the computer uh, to look that book up and it would say it's in this section uh, under this author's name. It's important when you're at the library to remember that you're supposed to be quiet. Shh is something that we say in English to tell people that they're being too noisy. So hopefully when you're at the library, no one says shh to you. But generally, in a library, it's supposed to be a quiet place where people can study, where people can read. So try to keep it quiet. So oftentimes, a library will have a reading area where you can sit and read a book or a magazine or a newspaper. You don't always have to borrow a book to read it. You can go to the library, you can find a quiet place to sit and read, and you can read a book right at the library. If you're in a library at a university or college, they'll usually have a work area where you can study or do homework. It'll usually have a power outlet so you can plug in a laptop or charge your phone. But uh, going to the library while you're at university or college can be a nice quiet place to get some homework done. Well, hey, thanks for coming to the library with me to learn English. Don't forget, there's some bonus practice material down below in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please hit the red subscribe button below and the bell icon so you get notifications when I put out a new video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please share it with a friend. Bob the Canadian here. Learn English with Bob the Canadian. Have a great day.